I'm going to show you this uh, new magnetic wheel here uh, running with my my two pole setup. I've got all these meters uh, connected here. Oh, this one went to sleep. Okay. Um, to show you uh, the draw on the uh, from the this is the draw from the power supply. This one is the input to the charge battery. Uh, both of these are actually showing you the voltage of that battery right now. And I wanted to make this point is look at the difference between these two meters. I mean, this one's saying 1258. This one's saying 1273. You know, so that that's a huge difference. So if you're messing with uh, this stuff and you want to try to have consistent readings and, and, you know, not go crazy going what's going on, uh, stick with one meter, you know, for testing voltages or something. Anyway, um... I'm, I'll see, before I fire this up, I really want to make this point here. That little meter there is the clamp-on meter on the AC side of this power supply. So it's showing the uh, the amp draw right now of, of that thing, which is 0.07 amps. Just to make the PC supply run with the fan and everything. So... Uh, Pay attention to that. I'll, I'll bring you back in there, and um, and then I got a little sub clip of how much my uh, my uh, computer draws <laughs> in comparison. My computer running, um, although you know this one is drawing a lot because I have a lot of hard drives in it and stuff. Uh, it's drawing 1.58 amps right now. All right. So I'm gonna fire this up here. I'm gonna switch one meter over to show you the voltage of the uh, power supply. To see. Alright, so it takes a little while for that to get running, but you can see uh, you know, this is the battery being charged here. This is the power supply voltage. This is the amp draw from the power supply, and this is the amps going into the charge battery. And this is the amp draw in, on the AC side of the power supply. And it maxes out about uh, 0 0.18, 0 0.19 at the most. So, quite efficient really. It doesn't take much. I translated that to, well, with, with the difference, you know, like 12, 12 watts basically. Something like that. Let me do the math again on that. So, it was uh, 15 watts is what I figured it takes to run this thing. So that's close to being at full RPM um, and I can't really ramp it up too much more because of, of the uh, permanent resistors I have in there are a little too high for me to try to ramp it up any further so I'll have to change those out to do any more experiments but I can make it go a little faster basically it's at about 150 RPM right now it charges pretty good I had another battery on there but it was pretty fully charged and it was slamming the battery way up to you know 13 something volts so it was already charged so I, I swapped to this other one which is a higher amp hour battery and it's not quite fully charged yet but uh, so that's kind of what's going on with this thing really uh, works pretty darn well um, I'm I can I'm gonna show you also the uh, uh, the signal on the scope so I'm gonna cut the video so I can get a good shot of that thing alright so here is uh, best view I can get of this thing here now uh, you can see 
the spike right there it's kind of hard to see but basically this this green is showing you uh, 160 volts total and that thing is just a little over that so Very hard to see. Oh wait, sorry, I'm on the wrong scale. There we go. There it is. So, all right, that's the top. Very top of the screen is the top of the spike. So. So everything, you know, we're looking at it uh, about uh, 175 volt spike there. Now, uh, boy, let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you that was really pretty cool is as we zoom, really far into this signal here. Let's see, how's it look? Back it up a little bit. Basically looking at the uh, you know the 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 uh, really big spike as it comes back in and flat lines. And I was messing with the uh, with the tuning of it, and you can see how that part changes. And I'm wondering if there's maybe a a secret that lies in here that might tell you whether you got the machine you know tuned well or not. So that's kind of a question I got. If anybody has any insight onto that. I would be glad to hear it. So, you know, I'm messing with the resistor right now. So I, I went way up on it. Now I'm going... Actually, I lightened on the resistor. Now I'm adding a lot of resistance. You know that this is this is like a hundred ohm difference that I have on these uh, pots, so you can see. You know, like, is it a better condition to have have it there, or is it better to have it in more of this chaotic mode? You know, as far as efficiency and stuff. So it's interesting, very very interesting. So I'd I'd love to hear people's uh, input on that. Alright, so I just wanted to finish off with showing you this thing. It's definitely up to speed at this point. Let you see the numbers on the meters. Uh, you can see this thing's going up pretty good. Uh, you know, we're putting almost, almost a third of an amp in. Oh, that's right. I cranked it way up. That's right. I forgot. Anyway, uh, Boy, there you go. You know, there's my range. I'm kind of maxing out here. Let's see. I got the. That's the. I can draw almost an amp off this thing if I turn it way up. But I think it it could be more efficient if I get it past this like uh, speed hump. Anyways, I find that it works pretty good. Around here, so those are the numbers. All right, everybody, take care. Oh, yep, you can see we're drawing just that 0.18, so way less than a, than running up a, a computer. <laughs> you can charge batteries. All right, see you.